In the first century, um, I, all I can tell you is what it felt like, um, and what it, you know the, the emotions I went through then, and and the emotions I went through then was I just felt like um, I I had this connection, like my parents didn't feel like my parents for some reason, and I don't know why, um, and. All I felt like was this connection with this entity that I could not, I didn't even think of as God, I just felt like my friend, this friendly entity that I could connect with and just feel love from. And then it was only when I get older and then I went in my teens that I started realising that this was actually God giving me love and I started putting together all the different things in the Bible for telling the Messiah's appearance and so forth and putting all those things together and eventually realising that this was, if you like, uh, one, my, it was my unique part of my soul that allowed me to connect with God in this way that I'd be finish up being the first person doing it. But it didn't feel, I didn't feel special in any way because I felt the same as any other and I knew that every person could enter this state. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, so um, And now there are literally billions and billions of people in this state. They're just not on earth. They're in the spirit world in this state. Um, and what the whole reason for the 14 returning back to Earth is to help everyone on Earth have the opportunity to get into this state and to demonstrate through our own actions how this state is achievable if we're here on Earth. That's all, if that makes sense. Um, so my feelings are uh, very much related about, like I, I don't know why I have that particular gift in my soul, but to be honest, I don't know why some of the people here have the gift of music in their soul either <laughs> and some of the other people have this gift of art in their soul and I, you know and and some of these other people have these other gifts that i don't seem to have right so i sort of see it as like this is just my gift in my soul and you have your own unique gifts in your soul and one day i'll know what they are and you know i can feel a lot of what they are already but one day you'll know what they are and you will change the world in your aspect of your gift and every single one of us eventually will actually have such a powerful effect on every single other person if we realise our highest ideal, which is at one moment with God, at one moment with our soulmate, in that state, we will, we will be the most powerful person God created us to be and every other personal interaction that we have will just be immensely satisfying.